Earth governments are preparing for an imminent alien attack. After the launching of several satellites into space by several nations and the sighting of strange lights in the world, many wonder what is happening outside the planet Earth. SpaceX launched the secret spacecraft called Zuma on January 7, 2018, on Sunday night and although according to some news reports, citing unnamed government officials, they have reported that the Zuma spacecraft built by Northrop Grumman may have failed after its launch into orbit, we believe that the launch was a success. Nick Pope, who used to run the Ministry of Defense's UFO project, believes the threat of an alien invasion is serious enough that we should be preparing for the worst, drawing from his experiences at the MOD, he has even created a war plan which reflects how the British government would likely respond to an extraterrestrial attack, he said, there's no government plan for an alien invasion, or for other scenarios where we find extraterrestrial life. Aliens capable of getting to Earth would clearly have technology way ahead of ours, so getting into any kind of war should be the last resort. We can only guess at what technology they may have, and what weaponry they might possess. I hope that if aliens arrive on Earth they'll come as explorers or scientists, but that's wishful thinking. Aliens may attack with no warning, recently a man was arrested after claiming to be a time traveler from 2048 sent back to warn people about a 2019 alien invasion. Officers in Casper, Wyoming, said the Bryant Johnson, from central Wyoming, in the, the United States, was arrested for public intoxication. Casper police said the man they encountered at 10.30 p.m. on Monday claimed he was from the year 2048. The suspect told police he wanted to warn the people of Casper that aliens will arrive next year, and that they should leave as soon as possible. Has the government detected an extraterrestrial ship? Dot, this asteroid is different from your average asteroid, and for several reasons. It has a hyperbolic trajectory, not the usual elliptical orbit expected for an object born in our solar system. It's an interloper, and that alone is enough to warrant our attention, no one has ever seen an object passing nearby that hails from another stellar realm. This object came from the direction of the constellation Lyra. That small constellation boasts a bright star, Vega that is a mere 25 light years away. So suppose, for argument's sake, that Oumuamua is a rock ejected from the Vega system. The chance of it passing so close to the sun is comparable to throwing a pebble and, by accident, hitting a nickel 75 miles away. That's hard to do, even if you have the arm to throw that far. Has the threat begun? There was a mysterious bright lightning that filled the sky that turned night into day and the ground shaking for thousands of miles in Russia after midnight on Sunday, January 7, 2018. It was also reported on January 8, 2018 a strange spiral in the skies of Sudan, this first photo was taken by the Dutch pilot Peter Ortink at 35,000 feet above the surface of the earth near the city of Khartoum, Sudan. And now it seems that the United States government has launched a new classified reconnaissance spy satellite, called NROL-47. That was scheduled to be released on January 12, 2018. The launch of the spy satellite NROL-47 comes only five days after the launch of the SpaceX Zuma satellite, and a third classified secret mission is scheduled for October. If the launch of NROL-47 is not enough, space agencies in China and India are also expected to launch rockets next Thursday. With India, there are now five nations, USA, Russia, China, Japan, and India, that have launched rockets with satellites it seems that they are placing a wall of satellites around the Earth to monitor something. Are we under attack now? During years there has been documented evidence of UFOs, anarchists are believed to be the creators of humans, mysteriously the Mayan civilization disappeared, Egyptian civilization is a mystery and there is no documentation on how the pyramids were built, the Atlantis civilization was flooded and sank. There are countless evidence suggesting that in the time of the Atlantis humans were a very advanced civilization but somehow there was a big flood, looks like over and over again rising civilizations had been wiped out, is our civilization on big risk of being wiped out? Whatever the threatening danger of space, 
governments with the possible help of the aliens here on Earth have a good reason to take their satellite secret weapons into space. Is there a space alien war going on right now? Former NASA astronaut claims the Pope knows aliens exist and want to help humans but a space war is imminent, Edgar Mitchell, the sixth man to walk on the moon, allegedly said extraterrestrials want to help us get free energy. The Pope has knowledge of aliens out there who want to help humanity but a war in space is heating up, a former NASA astronaut has allegedly claimed. An email apparently released by WikiLeaks has revealed ex-spaceman Edgar Mitchell wrote to American politician John Podesta, to tell him the Vatican knows extraterrestrials exist and want to share zero-point energy with us. The friendly aliens want to help mankind lead better lives but are afraid of our violent tendencies, an email is said to claim. Mitchell, the sixth man to walk on the moon, also told Podesta a space war is imminent and said, because the war in space race is heating up, I felt you should be aware of several factors, also he mentioned the good aliens are preparing for war as a another species of aliens are preparing to attack Earth, they warn the governments and war is imminent. There would be no more warnings as they are ready here, we are doing our best to avoid a confrontation, but Earth could be attacked anytime without a warning. By showing the Knights Templar logo on the satellites, they actually telling us that they are ready to fight evil, whatever it may be.